Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May favorites. I've never done one of these videos, but I figure since everybody's in quarantine, nobody's doing anything, I might as well share with you some of my favorite products to use at home. I've always seen these videos and I find it so interesting because you get to see what everybody else is using. It kind of gives you a bit of insight into what products you might want to buy, just hearing some reviews from other people. That is why I wanted to do a little video for you guys today. Starting off my favorites, we're gonna go right in with Amika products. So right here I have the 3D Volume and Thickening Conditioner. And look at the packaging as well. It has this really cute design. Um, it has all like the ingredients, product info back there as well. And this stuff smells so amazing. Like, honestly, your hair smells so good after using this. What I find really interesting about this conditioner too is it's not the typical white conditioner that you put in your hair and you kind of let it sit. This one actually lathers like a shampoo. So your hair will get kind of soapy-like and you kind of just have to run your fingers through it and it does add more volume to my hair. Usually my hair will be like, kind of more so like that, but it has been adding volume to my hair, so it works. It smells great, the packaging's cute, and it's also a lot of fun to use this product. I know that sounds a little weird, but it, you know, it's interesting because it's not the typical conditioner, so you really kind of get a new experience with it. But yeah, this is something I've been loving recently. I just started using this and it's probably one of my favorite shampoos. I'm gonna give it a little shout out because this is definitely a company you want to be paying attention to. These are also all made in Canada as well. So for any of my fellow Canadians, it's great to have a product kind of coming out of your own country. Next up, we have these little guys. This one is Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is the Coco Banana, oh, Coco Cabana Cream. These two products I actually got from Sephora. I think this was my birthday gift, but I love this stuff. Honestly, this is what they look like. They come in blue and purple packaging. So these are really cute because you can kind of just throw them in your purse. This one smells so good. Like I put it on, it's, it's a very warm scent. It smells like vanilla and it's very, very warm. It's, it's a good, good smell. I honestly just love using this stuff for the smell. As soon as I put this on, my mom was all over it. She's like, oh my God, you smell amazing. What are you using? That stuff right here, it's good. And this one smells more like coconut. Yeah, this one's more of a coconut. It's like a warm coconut scent. I do prefer this one over this one, sorry. Both of these products are great. They smell amazing, they're super cute. You can carry them in your purse, you can bring them anywhere, they're super light. But I had to mention these because I just got them for my birthday. I went shopping, little haul, treating myself. I've been obsessed with this. I use it every night before bed and I'm always smelling my hands because it just smells so good. So next up we have the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench. I can never pronounce this word. Hyrulic cloud, cloud cream. I don't know why that word messes me up so much, but every time I try to pronounce it, I get it wrong. <laughs> Hi, I Why is that hard for me to pronounce? I don't get it. Hyaluronic. Hyaluronic acid. You guys know what I'm saying. This isn't all the good, like moisturizers and beauty products so you guys know what I'm saying I just can't pronounce it for some reason because I'm just stupid anyway the reason why this makes my favorites this has actually been on my radar for a while now I got this for Brian for Christmas actually it came in a little tube a tester tube and I kind of stole it from him <laughs> He didn't really want the moisturizer, he was more interested in the eye patches, so I started using it. And it's so light, it doesn't feel like a normal cream where it's kind of thick and you gotta blend it in a lot for it to absorb. It just goes right on the skin, it's very light, it's extremely effective, it makes your skin feel 
absolutely incredible. This is now my go-to face moisturizer. I use it every night before bed and it helps keep my skin very soft. This stuff works, you will see it right away. It's incredible. I highly recommend getting this product. It is a little bit pricier, but it's, it's worth it. And honestly, this is so big. Um, I got a little tester tube, it's May now and I only just got this big tube, so that little tester tube lasted me four months. Even though it's pricey, it's definitely worth it, and there's a lot in here, so you'll use it up. And the good thing about this, too, is you really don't need a lot. You really just need a tiny little dollop because it spreads so well. It's not like cream where you need a lot to bring it into your face. With this product, less is more. So next up on my list of favorites, we again have a Peter Thomas Roth product looks like this. This is the Firm Peeling Gel Exfoliant. This stuff is insane. It blows my mind. Again, I got this in a small little tester. I picked this up from Sephora. And you know what? This is a side note. If you can get a sample of any product or a tester tube or anything in the smaller version, number one, it'll save you money. And number two, you can see if you really like the product and if it's effective without spending a bunch of money buying the full sized version. I like to do this a lot with Sephora because they have such a huge variety of products you can choose from. I kind of like to try them out and see if they work. So whenever I can get little samples or testers, I'm all about it. Cause even if it is an expensive product, if it works and I like it, then I will splurge on the money. Just get a little tester, that's like my two cents. Anyway, back Back to this product <laughs> since we kind of got sidetracked there this stuff is amazing it's really really cool basically you just get a little bit on your finger and you don't need a lot just a little drop and you rub it on your skin and there's some sort of chemical in here that grabs all the dead skin off your face and removes it. As you're exfoliating your face, you will literally see the dead skin coming off. It's a little bit gross. I would definitely recommend doing this and then washing your face after because it, it can be a little bit gross, but this stuff works. Like, I've tried a lot of face masks and um, exfoliators and this is by far my favorite product that I've ever used and again this is just a fun product I really like products that are out of the box I just like products that are a lot of fun to use I like products that are unique and this definitely does the trick it's kind of like that gross thing when you take off one of those peel peeling face masks and you can see all the little blackheads that it pulled it's kind of the same thing it's kind of gross but extremely satisfying to see and at least leaves your skin looking so nice. You really get rid of all that tired looking skin and the saggy, like it really firms up your face, softens your face. It makes your skin just look really, really fresh. So if you guys haven't tried this, it is a bit more expensive, but it definitely is worth it. I, again, was using the tester tube of this product. I still have some in the tester tube because this isn't like an everyday sort of thing. I'd probably suggest using this one to two times a week. I still have product left in that tester tube and it's been four months of using it. I would definitely recommend picking this stuff up because honestly I'm blown away with how effective this is. Sticking with our skin trend, I am gonna go in with the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. It looks like this. So I got this guy in a little tester. First of all they're cute, Second of all, they're cheaper. And third of all, I can try this product out before I buy the full thing. Just continuing on my rant from earlier. I like buying tester products. Clinique has always had really good skincare. I got a sample once when I was shopping with my grandmother. I think it was for some sort of anti-aging mask. It was for her. Um, because she's an older lady, but she gave it to me. She's like, I don't really have any use for it. I've got, I'm good with my moisturizer. So I was using it, I was like 16. So, you know, what do I really have to like anti-age? But I used it and surprisingly, I actually noticed results. Like I noticed the next day my skin genuinely looking amazing. When I saw this guy in a little sample, I was like, you know what? I might as well pick it up and see if my opinion on this company still holds true and 
it does. This stuff is really great. You just kind of leave it on your skin at night. You let it soak in. This I probably use once a week. I just got this in my Sephora birthday box and I'm loving it. It works. It makes my skin feel very, very soft. It's been great. I really like this product. I think once I'm done the sample size, I'm gonna pick up the full size version of this because this is actually really good. Canada's been cloudy and rainy and snowy in May. Snowy. Can we? Snowy. In May. So I haven't really had much use for sunscreen and of course because we are staying home from the quarantine I haven't gone outside. When it starts getting sunnier out, this is my go-to sunscreen. Everybody out there listening to this video, sunscreen is the anti-aging trick. I love a good tan, I love that look, and some sun is really healthy for you, but it is not good for your skin at all. Like This could be like a model tip too. Just stay out of the sun, protect your skin. Sunscreen is super important. You wanna look young forever, drink lots of water, and put on sunscreen. Like those are the two basic, simple things that you can be doing that really keep you looking young. This is the Skin SkinCeuticals Sheer Mineral SPF 50 High Protection. It is a bit pricier of a product, however, I will only put on a little bit. It's really, really light. It does not feel like sunscreen. That's all you need. It spreads really well and really quickly. But it's really sheer. It absorbs right into the skin right away. And look at that, like that little drop literally just covered the whole surface of my palm. It's so light, it doesn't feel like sunscreen. It absorbs into the skin so well. It leaves your skin looking dewy as well, which is really great. I do love a little dewy look sometimes, but it's so light. Like it honestly almost feels like moisturized. This product has lasted me forever, so it is worth the price you pay. Usually how I will apply this is I'll let it all kind of absorb into my skin and then I'll start my normal makeup routine. If you're looking for an amazing sunscreen, I definitely suggest this. This is my go-to, my favorite. Anytime anybody asks me about face sunscreen, this is what I suggest. I guess we're gonna continue on this little facial product trend and I'm going to introduce you to my favorite makeup remover. This is from The Body Shop. This is the Waterproof Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. This stuff is great. It removes my makeup effortlessly. I put it on a little cotton pad and just wipe my makeup away. I've never had a problem with it stinging my eyes, but this has been a great product. It's not that expensive. It's a decent price, but yeah, this is definitely one that I love for face remover, makeup face remover. <laughs> just removing my skin like... So we're gonna move over to lip products now. I really have to shout out Laneige for their lip sleeping mask. It comes with a little brush, which I've been using, which is why this is like a perfect circle <laughs> on the inside, but this stuff is so effective. It's crazy. I haven't noticed any problem with my lips chapping since I started using this product. A lot of times they'll crack a little bit and my lips get really dry, but I wear this every single night before bed. It really just smooths out my lips and it just smells really good. I love how it's pink, my favorite color. But yeah, I just love this product, so I really wanted to include it in this video because it has been something that I've been using every single day for maybe a month, two months now, and it just makes my lips feel so good. I just, yeah, I, if you don't have this product, you definitely need to go try it because I'm just obsessed. I'm upset. Last but not least on my list of favorites, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Right here I have the shade Fenty Glow. I also have the pink one, but that one's downstairs. I love this gloss so much. It goes on the lips really smooth, and it has it. I don't know what Rihanna puts in her products or what she's using, but she has some sort of glittery, sparkly, I don't know what's in here, but it is incredible. I love this product. It goes on the lips really well. It doesn't go away very quickly, which is great. It's long lasting for a lip gloss. See what I mean? It's very sparkly, like it's just great. 
great. I don't know what she puts in her products, but it's glittery. It feels amazing on my lips. It doesn't bother me like normal lip glosses do. It's thick enough that it stays on the lips and it's glossy, but it's not goopy. This is kind of something I like to wear more so when I'm wearing brownie toned eyeshadows and stuff. And then the pink one is kind of more of the everyday lip gloss that I use. This is more dressed up. So I guess like daytime, nighttime. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you guys use any of these other products as well, um, just so that anybody in the comments below can also get your opinion as well. And let me know if you guys have any suggestions for good products that you think I should try. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. I've been seeing that our subscriber count has been growing over the past couple of months and I'm so happy. I put a lot of work into my YouTube videos so it means a lot to know that there are other people out there that want to watch what I'm doing and enjoy my videos. So thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!